Hey, Emily, how are you today? Hi, Alice. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Long time no see, right? It's been a while. I'm excited to talk about our new features that we released. So yeah, I hear we released the AI detector. So please tell me about kind of the origin story of how this has come up. Basically, very quick after the first public version of ChatGPT was released, many people started to be concerned with how we would differentiate between like real human input and input generated by AI. So I would say it was probably concomitant with like the release of ChatGPT back in November 2022 that people started to brainstorm how to control um, the origin of the text that was submitted. Probably all started like from academia perspective. It's probably also related to uh, all the discussion you had around like plagiarism in the academia or in like education to make sure people are not like cheating. So OpenAI pretty quickly started to work on something and they released like a detector very soon. They were also followed by other company who all released their own detector pretty quickly. I would say mid-2023, we had like a lot of requests by our customers. Not really requests, but they were very trying to understand what we were putting in place to make sure people were not cheating. And the point was not making sure people were not cheating. The point was much more, how do we make sure that the data we deliver for them is a real human data? The point being, we don't want to train models with model generated data. If we were willing to do that, we would do that on our own or we would explicitly say we need like synthetic data. So for many, many type of work, you need to ensure with some like confidence that the data is accurately generated by humans. So this was one of the, it was at the beginning of how we decided to develop the feature. Very quickly, we realized that it was difficult to only rely on the semantic analysis of the text that was inputted by the contributors. There are many studies or papers on the fact that it can be biased against non-native speaker, for instance, or it's not efficient for different domain. And so we decided to take another option that was relying on like understanding how people were inputting their work. So one of the specificity of the Appen platform is like compared to academia, you're not writing your text and then submitting a text that is already written. It's really you're typing in the platform. Everything you're created is created through the platform. So because we can follow the interaction that exists between the contributor and the platform, we can capture signals on how they are behaving. And that is what is at the core of the AI detector we have developed and implemented in the Appen platform. Okay, thank you so much, Alice. Um, I learned so much and I love having these really interesting conversations with you. Now let's go see it in action. Okay, so let's see how we implement the AI detector in a quality flowchart. We go to the project and we will create a project from scratch to show you how easy it is to create the AI detector. I will name my project. I will upload a file for our job. Here is my file. So all my units are uploaded. I go to the job page and from the data set, I can create my first job. I will create it from scratch. I choose to insert the prompt as data and then I add a smart text box where I ask my contributor to answer the prompt in 150 words without using AI. I will add a basic validation with the minimum work count of 150 to be able to guide my contributors. Save and close. So I have configured my source data and I have included a question and so the prompt in 150 words without using AI. From the job design page, I will switch to the code editor and 
at the end of my job, I will add the CML AI detector. I click Save. And here I see this message. I should configure only one repair page in the settings. Click on Next to ensure quality. Click Next to job settings. And here I make sure to have only one repair page. My job design is now saved. I will start routing data to my job. I go to my project data set and I select five prompt and I add them to my job. My job is now live and as a contributor, I will have to answer the prompt. So we've been collecting judgment from two different contributors and we will look into the AI detection report to see uh, what are the prediction from the AI detection model with regard to their work. So I go to the result page here and I see that I have AI detector report contributor level and AI detector report at the unit level. I'm going to download this report and then have a look at it. The unit level will give me a prediction for each unit as answered by each contributor and the contributor level will aggregate the prediction of the unit level at each contributor level. My reports are ready to be downloaded. We will now have a look at the report. In the AI unit report download, we see here that six of the units are predicted at using probably uh, AI to be answered. Now let's have a look at the contributor level, how these numbers aggregate together. In the AI worker report, the AI detector predicts that three units out of five are using AI. The way we aggregate the prediction of unit being AI generated at the contributor level is every time we have three suspicious units, we can say with 99% of accuracy that one of these units is actually using AI. Coming back to the AI unit report, I create a filter on the worker ID to see all the suspicious units for one worker. And I have the list here. Everything that is predicted LLM1 is a suspicious uh, unit. So I can select the prompt ID and then going back to the dataset page in ADAP, I can open the unit. I can input the prompt ID number in the search bar and find the unit. I click the unit and here I select the contributor ID for which I want to check the unit. So I input the prompt ID in the search bar. I see that unit 11 is also suspicious. I open it. I check for this contributor and I can look into the answers. Over time, you'll be connecting more units in your job from different contributors. All these units will be sent to the AI detector and the AI detector will continuously identify suspicious units. This will reflect in the reports and every time you'll be downloading new report, you will see updated scores depending on prediction done for the latest batch of the judgment. Yeah, so that was it. This was the AI detector demo. Obviously, scores are going to change over time, so it's not just a one-time exercise. It's giving information along the entire project to the project manager, and that's also the value of it. So the demo probably doesn't... It can't capture the uh, entire yeah. thing in the few minutes of this demo, but I feel like we've seen the main aspects of it and where it's going to bring so much value to customers. So thank you so much for showing it to us and I'm, I'm so excited to use it myself. Thank you for hosting, Emily. Of course. Okay, <laughs> until next time. Yeah, bye.